And what if it's just oh. another mind game that there is no me? Of course not. The, man, the, me, the me is not a thought or belief or an idea. Separation is an energy, is a contracted energy felt in the whole body. Uh, liberation is a sudden uh, end of that. How? Sense. Uh, energy of being so. It has nothing to do with changing the, the self or the individual's ideas or thoughts or beliefs. Those are just information about what seems to be experienced. The thought, I am separate, is just another story. You could, really if, if you could become liberated, if it was only, I am separate, for life, you could then believe, I am not separate, and then you'd be liberated. It's so it is, what we believe is. <laughs> right? And so it is, what we believe It's not a belief, no. Belief is too super, superficial way of saying it. How can I find out that it is not a belief? You don't find out anything. You can't find out. <laughs> There's nothing here to find out. Yes. Sorry, no. So it's like sitting in the cinema and watching a film and yeah. you know that, okay, there is actors actor of you and we're not touched to the feelings and everything? In a way you could describe it like that, but that's still a personalised way of describing it. Um, the, the, in the film, the actor is, is the me, the thinks it's real. But the, when, when the film runs out at the end, and, the, and it comes out of the school, mm -hmm. there's nothing left. Mm -hmm. There isn't an actor that knows there's nothing left. Going, going back to that question about uh, me being so reliably there, it isn't there. It's an there aren't any people in the world. There's no one in the world. But there are bodies that dream that they are me. Are there entities without bodies? Sorry? Are there any entities we just identify ourselves with bodies, right, as a kind of physical aspect? Uh, which we perceive like that because our senses can determine what it is. Our senses, right? Do you, in your experience, or not you, but yeah. are there entities which are without bodies? Yeah. Without physical bodies? I don't know. Right. All I know is that there are lots of bodies that seem to have beings. <coughs> So if the if the me collapses, who is there to notice that? No, no. This is not poem in this message. It's completely as far as the individual is concerned, this is a meeting that has nothing for the individual. There's nothing here to say. It's a completely pointless being here as an individual. So nothing on offer. <laughs> so uh, you know, when, the, when the individual that wants to be uh, liberated is no more. There isn't anything that then is liberated because there doesn't need to be, because everything is already liberation. Uh, it's only me that believes that everything is, is, is separate. It's a dread, it's a dread sense that suddenly collapses. So how, how is it possible to talk about this? Oh no, it's not possible to talk about it. We're not talking about it. We're talking around it. It can <coughs> be described. <laughs> this, this happens many times, you know, recently. That the individual suddenly is no more, and then I hear from this body on the phone or whatever. It's amazing because I can't tell you what this is, and I now realise why you can't tell me what it is. It's the one thing that can't be known. If it could be known, you could put it on the front of newspapers. <laughs> this can't be known. It can't be described. So, for you to hold this session, is it necessary to re-identify with the me? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, we're in the hotel room.
not, got nothing to do with the saint-like image the gurus would like people to believe can be there. And, and also liberation has nothing to do with goodness or ethics or morals. Ethics and morals are just another structure that me creates in order to make its story work. So is it kind of like the human race is animals? The brain uh, runs the whole show. At the moment in this room, it's the brain that's running this whole. Everything, all feelings, everything that's happening is coming. Is, is well, it's coming out of no thing, and the brain is the computer that runs it all. And on top of that, there's a puppet called me, which is completely and utterly helpless. <laughs> and the combination of the so-called um, evolution, the combination of the two, has created um, uh, a partnership which seems, seems to dominate the world. <laughs> that's the whole purpose of the brain creating an was to do that in order to survive and dominate what it sees as a separate world. It's doing quite well in one way, in another way it's sort of, there's the destruction and creativity happening. But what's interesting is that what the me longs for more than anything else it can never have. What it longs for is, is its own absence, the end of itself. What's interesting at the moment is that the, 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 the partnership of the brain and me has created a world in which the me can destroy itself. So. <laughs> That's what it longs for. So somehow this is very disappointing because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is why... Yeah. Well, this is very <laughs> Because the, the helpless me is there and it seems to have an idea of, uh, of being um, I don't know, crazy. Crazy, okay. Yeah. In what way? I don't quite understand. Um, it's schizophrenic. Yeah. yeah me is schizophrenic. So, so, no, wait, so, so the need to realize the effect of being schizophrenic, but now what to do about it? Oh. <laughs> that's what's, <laughs> used, that's what's was very disappointing about yeah. this message. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could give you a big list of teachers and gurus who will tell you what to do about it. And you could go up and try and do it. Really try hard. I, I have. And if it doesn't work, <laughs> <well, laughs> if it doesn't work, you just have to try hard. <laughs> but it never will, because me can only fail. Me can only fail. So he lives in a dreamt, artificially separate existence, which is always unsatisfying. It might be, you know, might win the lottery and be happy for three weeks, or, or maybe two. <laughs> when it worries about when it's getting put there, <laughs> all that goes on, but it can never be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Never, ever. <laughs> so knowing this is not liberation. Sorry? Knowing this? No, no. The liberation happens not that. And clarity is just clarity, it's just another understanding. Liberation has nothing to do with understanding.
this clarity leads to no change in behavior. It's not that of this body. Exactly as before, just clarity. Yes. The main thing you could say about the body is that it no longer has a contracted sense of a meaning. So it's more, it's very relaxed. And also it doesn't expend its energy in playing the game of being me. In the game of playing being me, the, the child goes up and learns to adopt a, a, a game or a role. It takes on a major role, three or four, in order to try and make its story work in the world. Like being a good person, or being a bad person, or whatever. But in order to maintain that role, it expends a lot of energy because it's actually putting on an artificial mask every day and acting out its drama. So it's very wearing. People die of me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when that collapses, there's nothing trying to do anything anymore. There's nothing trying to get anymore. There's no way to get to it. This is already fulfilled. So there's a huge amount of energy. So you might say there's, there's a diminishing, or perhaps a total loss of, of in me things like judgment, anxiety, all that aside. side. <laughs> <laughs> and also, very, you know, very wearing is the idea of presenting me to the world. Right. Everybody, most yes. people do that. Yeah. And the other thing that the me does is construct a higher self and a lower self. It usually learns to construct a higher self, which is very... <laughs> the lower self, it just wants... Understand people's questions as 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 um, apparent individuals. No. Where, where does your I don't, I don't try and answer questions. There's just a question, and the response comes out of nothing. There isn't something here trying to work out an answer because the, the answer doesn't come from anything that's here or known.
that this, that this communication is always, constantly, can only be rejected by them. What can it be rejected? Sorry, what did you say? Uh, this communication can only be rejected by the me. Because the me lives in the artificial, constructed, subject, object, reality. And this is suggesting that there's some other reality, which the me can't accept. And you always reject it. has to reject it, otherwise it would die. And that's what seems to happen. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. You can understand that everything is appearances. I mean, uh, apparent or let's say appearances. It is kind of uh, um, illusionary display, let's say, <coughs> which is created by our senses, let's say. Uh, it's only illusory to me. Apart from that dream, it is simply what it is, real and known. It's only the, the me that lives in the illusion that what appears is real, including itself. That's the dilemma. The dilemma for me is that it lives in a dreamt illusion of everything, including itself, being only real. <coughs> 